Hello. Give me just a moment. Forgot to change that really quick. Okay. Hey, Cronark. Hey, Orc. Hey, Loop. Uh, yeah, so Cronark, we did change up um, uh, the stream just a smidge since you were here. I, I'm leaning towards no hints, um, and that that's just because I feel like this game truly does reward um, putting two and two together while you're playing, and um, I just think that this particular game, I'll get more out of it if I'm kind of working it out on my own. So that's why we're we're leaning towards no hints um, going forward. Um, occasionally, I might ask chat something, but it'll be very, uh, very, very explicit if I if I want help. So like if I'm just like asking a question, I'm usually just talking out loud. But if I'm like, hey, chat, this question, then then yeah, it'll be pretty pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, I'll once we once I load into the game, I'll give a quick recap of what we've uh, looked at so far. I've got this new mic, this new fancy mic that you can't you can't see, but it's it's down here. New mic. Very excited. Um. Very very fair. Glad to hear. Um. But yeah, let me know if uh, the audio sounds good, as always. Let me know if something sounds off. Uh, I'm still getting used to talking to this, so I, I have to like make sure that I'm consistent about where I'm sitting because I don't have the headset. <laughs> it's not just always there. It sounds good? Cool. Um, yeah, because I did a test of the volume and it sounded okay, but, y you know, streaming, technology, it's always like finicky. It never works right on the first go, so I'm, like, nervous that it's working so far. Sounds super clear? Cool. Now you know that it was- I, I can no longer blame my previous, um, mic for my- my raspy voice. Sounds like a radio voice. Like, in a good way or a bad way? Because I put a filter on for the, uh, audio, like, um, uh, so- so it doesn't blow out the mic, so it doesn't blow out the sound. In a good way. All right, cool. My water. Okay. Very podcast sounding. I like that. All right. If only I had a podcast voice. A transatlantic accent going. I can only do the uh, the Boston accent. The um, I'm gonna go park my car at Harvard Yard. That's, that's all I got. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> Love mic upgrades. Yeah, this, this was, um, I'm, I'm really stoked to have this. I don't want to, like, brag on it too much, but I, I am very, very happy with it. Alright. Oh, I should get my phone plugged in. There we go. I was just so excited to talk to you guys that I, um, uh, that I, uh, wasn't totally set up. I'm gonna I'm gonna load up the game though. Can I post a link to the mic later? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this it's a uh, Blue Yeti Nano mic. I'm pretty sure it's just from Amazon. At some point, I'll probably get like one of those filters for it, one of the pop filters, something like that, and maybe maybe even some voice mods. Oh, wait, where's my sticky note? Here it is. I've got to get my, my sticky note for the uh, controller buttons. All right. And here we are again. So, I'll go pull up our, uh, our log in the ship get an idea of what we've seen over the last couple of streams. Uh, I don't really know what my plan is for this stream. Like, oh, you know what? I'm using the wrong controller. This one drifts. Hold on. Can't have that. Can't have the drifting controller. Hey, Nine, how are you doing? Okay. 
Much better. All right, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, no, it's not a new controller. I wish. I got a new mic. The new mic is uh, exciting. All right. So here is our rumor map. So we've gone to the quantum moon. Uh, I landed. Uh, I went into the tower, but we haven't figured out how to get the tower to be on the North Pole when I change locations. I think I'm missing, like, one, uh, uh, like, tutorial area is what it seems. You're gonna, you're gonna be lurking just listening to audio, audio for, like, 15 minutes? Okay, sounds good. I'll try to be extra descriptive. Um, but yeah, so we are trying to get to the sixth location. I haven't quite worked out how to get to the opposite side of the moon, because, like, I know that the shuttle always lands on the south side. Uh, so when I try to go to the north side, I can, like, take a picture of this, and then it doesn't show the, um, like, the locator, whatever, icon. So I haven't figured out how to, like, snap a picture of it, and then try to get to the opposite side where the shrine can then spawn. So there must be some other way. And I think that there's, like, another tutorial area that I just haven't gotten to yet. Quantum Caves, Lake Bed Cave. I know my named Collis mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of a dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Oh yeah, I remember we like started to look into that and then I found the Quantum Grove? Maybe that was it? No. What did I find? I found a guy. The Nomai noticed a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twins Northern Hemisphere. There's more to explore here. Um, I'm probably gonna, this stream, just end up going to a lot of these, um, uh, places that say there's more to explore and just like trying to just look around just see what comes up uh, don't worry about too much be about being descriptive for you outer wilds sound design is lit yeah oh, okay sounds good What else did we do? We went to the sun station last stream and that was cool as hell. Went to the sun station and the uh, high energy lab. So that was a lot of like key pieces there. There's more to explore in the sunless city, but I don't know what, cause I've been there a few times now and really looked around. So I know there's gonna be more, but I don't know where. Oh yeah, and there's more on Gabro's Island, which I also don't know what I'm missing there yet. Did I go to the lab? I So when I went to the lab, I was able to um, uh, recreate the, the black hole and then the white hole and like do the, the traveling between the two, so... I kind of already knew that from going to Brittle Hollow. Uh, I didn't do anything else there, really, that I can recall. Um, but I know that there's, like, these designs that I don't really know much about. It doesn't say there's more to explore there, so I guess I saw everything. But there's probably more that, like, I haven't, like, pieced together yet, I guess. That's my guess. And there's a lot more about the probe cannon that we... Well, whenever we go there, it's all destroyed. Let's see. Gotta think about where to go first. I might go talk to Gabro again. Because... It's killing me that there's more to do here that I don't know yet. So I think that's where we're gonna go first. This 
Sounds good, Cronark. Have a good drive. I keep trying to, like, lean in to be closer to my mic because I feel like I'm too far away. And I think I just have to get used to it. I'm just used to having my headset mic, like, right in my face. That is perfect. Oh, thank you. That is great to know. Please explain to me what there could possibly be left to do on this island. There must be something. There's also this cave. But, like, the more I am here, the more I'm convinced that there isn't anything in the cave. So, like, I don't think I'm missing anything there. Hi. I'm back. Have I used that one before? I found something. Oh, we've already talked to him about the statue island. I'm only gonna read something aloud, if I think, if it's new. Uh, we already have done the meditation loop, so now we know how to reset the game if we need to, so that's nice. Where else should I explore? Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten to the core of the planet yet. I feel like there's a way to get down there, and I, I don't know how yet. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the, s at the start of every time loop. Uh, something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. So we know that that's the, uh, the shuttle exploding. Been to Statue Island. You were on the beach of Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that sort of thing. What's up with this planet? There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think to get past that current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. Uh, there's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up anything, everything in their path. Islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. It's less likely to kill you. And we found his ship already. Ship log updated. So maybe there was just a, an, a, a dialogue option there that I missed. Let's go back and check and see if it, it updated. I'm pretty sure I did all of those, though. So I'm not sure what upgraded. Let's see. Where is his island? Hmm. 
Now I can't find it. Wasn't it over here? Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, so there was just some little dialogue option I was missing there. Uh, I still want to get to the core of the planet. There's his ship. We've gone into the middle of the this tornado. We've seen this island here. Is there more to do here? Let's check. Well, I'm right here. Why not? Ocean depths. Gabro says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink beneath the water, beneath the underwater current, which they'd previously thought was impossible. All right. So we've got like a hint there that it is possible. We just don't know how. I thought we went to the Southern Observatory. All right, well maybe, actually, maybe we'll go to Brittle Hollow. It might be a little late in this loop, but we can go anyways. Now that I've kind of checked off that box. I thought I'd been to the Southern Observatory. Maybe I got sidetracked. I mean, that's that's pretty likely. I want to make sure I don't like just go straight into the sun. But how are how are you guys doing? Orc, you liked the the movie, right? You said you loved it? We watched, uh, on Discord, um, the new Mortal Kombat movie just, uh, before the stream. It was fun. It was a very fun movie. I liked it more than I thought I would, to be honest. Because, like, I, I enjoy Mortal Kombat, but it's not, like, my thing. Like, I think it's fun. Um, but I, I definitely expected it to just be, like, you know, a, a kind of, kind of simple movie. But it, it was, it was a good romp. It was very good. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Thank you so much for hosting, Org. Some people expected too much. Yeah, I think I was the opposite. I wasn't expecting very much and then was pleasantly surprised. All right. Let's see, I've been up there. I want to park next to the observatory just so I kind of know where my starting spot is. Actually, never mind. We're going to park right here because I want to check out this shuttle. Yeah, it seemed like it really did justice to all the characters. Uh, here we go. Not that I really needed to refuel, but... Alright, where's the entrance? been in this shuttle. I went into the other one. It's 
Scanning external environments. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities are detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict. Hospitable. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Launching escape pod 3. Launching escape pod 2. Now launching escape pod 1. Begin flight log. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. I think I read these backwards, but that's fine. Emergency escape hatch. Oh! <laughs> I like that. That's such a good touch. Alright. I have a feeling these are all gonna break, aren't they? Use caution. Black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. So I've been to Brittle Hollow a couple of times, but every time I came here, I, I kind of, like, jumped into the center. I didn't follow any specific paths. Which, like, kind of works, but it's not very repeatable. I uh, would you recommend going to the theater for it. You would. Uh, yeah, I think it would look better um, in a theater for sure. I agree with the work. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though it, uh, this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. I still want to get to the Southern Observatory, but ooh, what's that? This is what happened last time. I was like, wait, but what's that? It's so cool. <laughs> Never get anything done. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find the eye of the universe. That sounds familiar. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. And then this is like the sixth location symbol, it looks like. saw another thing to read over here. Is that children writing? I don't want to, uh... fall. What about around this way? Oh no, oh no. Oh jeez, oh dear god. Oh jeez. Alright. I really don't want to go into the black hole. Please pick me up. Please pick me up. Oh, thank god. Alright, we've been here many times. Oh, I don't know if I noticed that before. It's a walking area. I really miss going to the movie theater. A new one just opened up near my apartment. Um, and that is super tempting. Gravity cannon. Okay, we've definitely been here before. Notes from the... Our traveler here. Actually, let's talk to him again really quick because... At least while we're here, he might have some new information. 
Hey, Acro. Ar Ar Arco. Unlikely that the movie theaters are crowded. Yeah, I agree. I've just been being extra cautious. Um, just because I, I live with a bunch of roommates and um, I have my, my first vaccine. Um, but once I get my, my second, then I'm going to be more willing to go out. So, just another, like, two weeks. Hey, Morbid Mongoose. Alright. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here, it's great. Uh, I'm in a hurry, can I ask you something? Sure, of course, anything you want. I learned something. Oh, cool. All right, so here we go. Here is all of the new dialogue options that I wanted um, that I didn't have with the other guy. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city. I had no idea it existed. This is great. Oh, thank you for the belated birthday. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. I'll definitely do a baking stream again. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure KY would join me again in the future, but probably on rare occasion. But that was that was a lot of fun. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves uh, by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious. Building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. You're gonna have to hop out? No worries. Yeah, hope to see you around later. Have a good rest of your day. That means there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It is their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a uh, you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something? I wonder why a black hole is so s written so small there. Uh, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth, you know, somewhere that isn't constantly being bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they landed when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more uh, about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore? I mean, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the so uh, Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. Uh, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. I think... Oh, um... Never mind, never mind. See you later. Where do I have left to go on Brittle Hollow? I, um, I don't think I've been to the Southern Observatory yet, which is weird, because I was pretty sure I had been, but I think that was... That was not true. It was a false memory. We don't want- I- I think I saw something that the- The tower has like a- A way to get there. Let's see. All 
these uh, paths make me nervous. Let's see where I can get from here. Take me away. Ah, it startled me. <laughs> the Southern Observatory, here we go. Yeah, so this is, like, I was pretty sure I'd been here. I, like, waited until the reset and then I got launched in, or waited until this part got launched into space and then I flew inside. Tower knowledge. So maybe maybe I wasn't in the Southern Observatory before. Because I've definitely explored this. But I did kind of want to look at this again. And then this is talking about, about that again. Which I have flown up to. Alright, well let's head back down to that sign. And we'll see if it was just like one thing that I just missed. I need to stop using my fuel to move faster. <laughs> Maybe I have to go this way. Yeah, I'm betting this is the right way. That's unfortunate. I don't want to do that. Maybe it's gone. Maybe it already fell. Is it like the first thing to fall? That would make sense. Yeah. Alright. It feels kind of wasteful to, like, ever reset. So, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back up to the tower. Ooh. Faster equals better. It's just like then when you run out, you're just, like, completely screwed, you know? Um... So I want to go back down. Because I think what I'm going to do, since we're probably close to the reset time, is I'm going to hang out in here. I almost wish there was a timer. Almost do. I mean, I can just kind of like look at the time and get an idea. I know when we started. Um, and this, here we go. Oh, perfect. Happening right now. Maybe. Or maybe that was just the thing next to us. It won't be long. There's not a lot holding us up still. Some nice music. Chat, how are you doing? How are you guys? I never finished my coffee this morning. It's just kind of sitting here. Maybe I'll drink it, maybe not. Alright, I don't know about you guys. I don't like hot coffee. Iced coffee? I could drink it like water every day, all day. But, uh, hot coffee. Can't do it. Don't know why.
Like, I, I know we're not in space yet, but it, it looks like we are. <laughs> There's not much left. Oh, the sun doesn't look great from here. It, this can't take much longer. I just want to get up there. I want to look and see what see what's there again. I want to check this shit out. But yeah, so this morning I had to make hot coffee because I ran out of iced coffee. I usually make cold brew the night before. And uh, that just resulted in me not drinking the coffee that I made. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. fallen. Yeah, here we go. Oh, sorry about your ears. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not travel with the building? Where'd the building go? Is that it? The fuck? That doesn't look like it. I hope it's this one. God damn. How did I do this last time? Like, I'm pretty sure that last time I was just standing on the thing and when I teleported, I was still standing on it. This happened to you also? Uh, I found it that one time. Maybe I just got lucky. This didn't work. I am disappointed. Can I? No, I'd have to be in my ship. Was it slightly down? I could have been. I could have just been over eager and moved too fast. That's fine. This is all fine. Pretty sure I've been in here too. After doing like this exact thing. Isn't- wait, is this the observatory? I don't think it is. Nope, 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 nope. Uh. All right. I'm just kind of shocked I didn't die, to be honest. Well, at least we refilled our oxygen. Welcome to White Hole Station. Fell through the black hole by accident. You aren't the first. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. what to do with this projection stone.
All right, well, here we go again. Whoa, I just got teleported all of a sudden. To where? Back to Brittle Hollow? Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. I didn't realize that they, like, give you a way to get back if you fall into the black hole by accident. It's kind of nice. To our death! Alright, so let's go back to Brittle Hollow, and this time we'll actually try to get into the Southern Observatory. That is the new plan. We're going straight there. Straight for the observatory. That like deep breath that he takes every time there's a reset just like makes me think about breathing every time. And then I'm like just going going through the motions. Alright. Yeah, I don't think we really added anything that on that trip. Alright, let's start here. We'll mark. Is that the quantum moon just hanging out? That makes me just want to go to the quantum moon because it's right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arco. Uh, I want to go. I want to go. We're not going to go right now. I can always go back. I'm not going there right now. Okay. Um, the reason I'm not going to the quantum moon right now is because I know that I will, uh, I, I haven't learned anything since the last time I was there. Oh, don't don't go into the there. Uh, All right. Okay. Let's see. I think this is a good place to park. Right on top of the thing. All right. Or we can go back down. Let's take a look really quick in here. There's definitely some stuff to read. I'm pretty sure that I've read those. I just want to know more about the sixth location, and I feel like we're going to get some of those answers here. Also, I like the plants up here. It's pretty. Five hundred meters. All right, it's still not here. So I guess we want to try to get over there. Can we make that? I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, alright. I guess I should've just tried it that one time. Does it want us to go up? You know, it would've been smart is if I had parked 
on the Southern Observatory so then I could look for my ship to know which way I should be going. Because now... I am just guessing. And there are no indicators whatsoever. That makes me wonder if I should do that. If I should, like, go back and try to set up my ship in that one spot. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oof, that was a rough hit. It's fine. Working out the best way to, like, try to do these things might be the trickiest part. It's like deciding where to go and what to do is one thing, and then how to get there is a whole other thing. At least we'll be able to heal, too, when we get to the ship. Alright. Heal. Alright, Southern Observatory, here we come. Am I using the rumor map on the ship to decide, like, where I'm going, or, like, how I'm getting there, or decide what. Uh, a little bit. So, like, right now, I don't have the best idea of what I should be doing, really. And so, I'm kind of leaning on, um, what have I, uh, what, where is it saying that there's more to discover? And it's like, oh, okay, well, I haven't been here yet, so. Whoops. So much for, uh, keeping myself healthy. Ah, damn. I'm just gonna murder myself out here. Um. Now I just need a way into the planet. Trying to find a hole somewhere. Here we go. Go with the cannon. All right. And now we can just kind of work our way to with the ship, right? fine. Um. Dang, alright. I thought this would be a little easier, having the guide from the ship. But I think that's, that's how this game be. Ugh. 
It's like this seems like it should have a way to get there, but then it just may not. Or it's a bunch more roundabout. Might as well refuel while we're here. Right. See ya. Let's go back up to where I was. Crossroads, the Hanging City. Yeah, this goes to the city. Maybe I just have to go all the way around. And there's something on the other side that'll help me. doesn't feel right, but I do like all the different sounds. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Okay. All the different music for the different areas I really enjoy. Really good sound design in this game. super confused about how to get it's almost like I need to wait for something else to fall but it told me there would be a way to walk here so that's kind of what I expect but that's probably wrong. I definitely feel like some days I play this and I have great ideas and can jump right into it and know what to expect and then other times it's just uh not not the case now i'm kind of wondering like should i go back to my ship and try to fly from underneath I really like these. They're really fun. Okay. Glad that didn't kill me. It's something. This is promising. Oh, it made me nervous. Ooh, okay. All right. Maybe I just needed to wait for some of the uh, the stuff to clear out. 
Ghost matter detected. What? I feel like I, I was so close on my other attempts. And there's that platform below us too. There's the building behind us. Kind of want to be thorough. As thorough as I can. Ooh, okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Part of me wonders what happens if I bring this, like, two giants deep. Like, does that do anything, I wonder? Or does it just, like, show you the same thing? Uh, Kanoi, Daz, uh, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and then somehow sank down beneath the current. Ooh, this is what we were wondering about. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it'd be impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Uh, Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to, ha uh, to know what happened. How could it pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a, uh, constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, and I'm able to grasp at the answer by looking at by looking at the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Alright. Oh, that's solid. Look at these. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift the orbital space probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Uh, Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclone on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise, these are the cyclones uh, Kasaba typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I am intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring giant steam. I also very much wanted to make the model. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay. So that one goes up and this one goes down. Huh. That's so interesting. That's very cool. Okay. We're definitely going to go there next. I want to make sure there weren't any other pieces over here we missed. I don't think so. I guess we can get this door open. 
And parking the ship there actually did help a lot. I'm glad I did that. Ooh. Oh, am I in space now? Was that what that was? That's interesting. The sixth location is everywhere. It's like infinitely expanding. Oh, I gotta read this stuff. This is very cool to look at, but I need to read. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Suppose the Eye didn't wish to be found. Kazaba, can you suggest that? The Eye's signal called out to summon us to the star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the Eye's story, yet we're so, uh, so we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star uh, system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here both we're both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. How should our methods change as we continue to search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'll need, uh, we'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except what the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different probe devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the uh, correct direction would be absolutely small. Absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? Yeah, tons of information here. Oh my god. It's like every now and again I'll, I'll get somewhere that just has an absolute information dump. Alright. What happens if I put all of these down Oh 
it just does the same thing. You have to step into lurk mode for a moment. Good luck. Thank you. Enjoy your lurk. This is wild. I wonder if the sixth location and the eye of the universe are the same thing. I kind of figure they are. Not sure. Energy critical. Alright, well let's go back to the ship and then I'm I, I'm gonna read actually and then I will uh either a reset or let the sun reset, whichever comes first. That's not my ship. That's my ship. Let's take a look at what the logs say after all of that. Ha. The new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. They were con there were concerns about the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction uh, would be absurdly small. And then the tornado. We're going to go there next. Absolutely. Most cyclones on Giants Deep rotate clockwise. Uh, there are cyclones on Nomai, uh, the Nomai used to send components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction. Yeah. Alright. You know what? Let's just go there. Let's meditate. All right. Well, that's cool. Now we know that that's a probe that was specifically going to look for the eye. We followed it once. We, like, high-tailed it straight for it and, and caught it. Got really lucky. Actually, hold on. I, I should make sure that I put on my spacesuit first, because I will forget. And then I'll die. When I get out of the ship. Giant steep. And away we go. So, we gotta find the counterclockwise, um, Typhoon. There's one. Take me down. Oh, it worked. Oh, what? Why does that freak me out so much? Don't I have to, like, be inside of a jellyfish or something? Something like that to, like, be safe? from the, uh... Oh. 
Ah! Alright. Nope. I think my... My thought process was correct. But execution may not be. Uh, I don't know if I can, like, go out and do repairs. Or if I'll just... Oh, no, I don't want to get sucked right back in. Wow, this music is so peaceful. I hope you're mostly fixed. All right. I feel like I'm gonna explode. Yeah. It won't let me in. This music seems like way too peaceful. They're like, just chill. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be fine. There's this like red spot here. I feel like that's just gonna be like. Is that just a an underwater jellyfish or something? red spot. Maybe... Hmm. Has something to do with the jellyfish. We know that they are inedible. we damage our electrical systems and then just try again. Well that is that just always there? I see. The ship says no, don't do it. I can't get over how peaceful this music is. <laughs> oh, well. Goodbye, ship. Can I send a probe into it?
probe? Is it just like sitting on top? Oh, it gets sent out too. Alright, what if I go down? Am I gonna die? We'll find out. Here we go. Yes. The answer is yes, we do die. Alright. Hmm. Okay. We could try firing a probe at a jellyfish. Maybe it'll, like, deplete its, um, electricity. Something like that? Not sure. <gasps> I'm gonna have a quick BRB. About two minutes. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm still getting used to having a mute button like on my mic itself. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go right back to Giant Steep and try that again. Maybe, maybe I should read some of my notes. I mean, I guess I didn't check anything there. Oh, aha! Alright, so it did give me something. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounding the planet's core. Huh. It doesn't tell me there's more to see there, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'd figure that there must be. But I do want to... The frozen jellyfish. This. Yes. Hey, Pyro! You can't believe you were missing Outer Wilds because you were watching Outer Wilds. <laughs> well, welcome in. We've we figured out a couple of things. We got below the current on Giant's Deep just now. Um, I'm trying to figure out what we can do with that. Um, so I'm revisiting this note here. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat these enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. 
The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. So how do we get inside of a jellyfish? If that's even our goal here, I'm not sure. But I feel like there must be, right? Like I don't I don't think we would go to the under the current if there wasn't a reason. Yeah, getting to the Southern Observatory was way more helpful than I thought it would be. fully explored this little thorny island either. Well, there it goes. Counterclockwise? What? No, no, no. God damn it. Rude. Rude. Yeah, it just yeeted me out. It kind of threw me down. Come on. There we go. Down we go. Ugh, oh, so peaceful. Mr. Jellyfish. Oops. I need your help, sir. Okay. That, like, shot it downward. Well, that didn't help. Alright. Mr. Jellyfish, sir. Please. Yeah, I just want to be friends. I don't think the jellyfish understands. Alright. Joking aside, let's fix the ship. Oh, no, no. Oh, ship, please. I don't know why I think the, the music here is, it doesn't quite fit. It's just like, it's, it's too peaceful for the, for the dying that has occurred here. All right. seems weird. It's nice, like it's pleasant. I enjoy the music. Don't get me wrong. Let's not go in there. Yeah. going down. Nope. Thought maybe I could just, like, tail it. Just follow it. 
My thinking is that I have to get, like, inside of it. How do you do it, Mr. Jelly? Alright. Let's go back up. Current, take me. That's nice that it just kind of let me go back up. Didn't have to get thrown around. Oh, there's a frozen jellyfish right here! Uh, you came in at the tail end of a discovery. What's up with the jellies? So I... Shit. 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 Hold, please. God damn. Um. Yeah, that was bad timing. Um. So I know that from going to Dark Bramble, I know that the inside of a jellyfish is insulated. Um, so if I can get inside of a jellyfish like this one, then I can oh, uh, make it to the thing. So I just came here. I've been here before, but like I don't think I've really explored this island. And I know I can't walk through here. Maybe I should try to land on that other little spot. I used to think that there must be a way to, uh... like get through this dark matter stuff but now that I've kind of like explored uh, in the game a bit more oh my god why have I done this why have I done this okay now that I've explored more I think that it's never actually a uh, a thing that I need to figure out how to get around I just need to take another path. Like, there's never anything, like, in these corridors that I, like, desperately need. But how do I get around them is the question. Ugh. So, like, here. Maybe I can just, like, go on top. Oh, come on. Come on. This is, like, the most annoying planet to try to navigate on, though, because of the gravity. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's a mechanic that really helps, but you can't remember how it's conveyed to you. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, come on. Give it another try. There we go. It's like tools control rather than uh, learnable 
information, gotcha. And it's not like the scout. Eh. I'm doing okay. I think I got this. At least for now. If I need help, though, I'll let you know. Uh, why am I stuck? There we go. Gravity, please. Alright. I'm gonna go through all of my power. So... I don't think I want to go down, because then I can't get back up very easily. be another thing to climb. So that was like the entrance that we walked over and around. Which I think is this as well. I wonder if that goes around somewhere interesting. wasn't what I wanted. Please go down. Please go back this way. Thank you. Ooh, relax. Chill. Sit. Yeah, the danger vine. Just stay in this little little nub. There we go. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, bull. Alright. No hard feelings. Oh, my cat's hanging out. Just chilling. If, um, if Harvey comes to join us at some point, I'm going to pick him up. Because every time I pick him up, he meows a lot. And with the new mic, I just <gasps> think it'll be very cute. <laughs> He'll hate it, but it'll be, it'll be cute. I'll give him some treats afterwards, and I'm sure he'll forgive me. Yours just got, got done yelling at you for telling her not to scratch your chair. Yeah, cats, man. Alright. We're going back. She has so many opinions. Aww. Oh, hey. I like when the quantum moon is just, like, conveniently nearby. I think that's fun. <laughs> just after, like, struggling to locate it a few times, and then just, there it is. Ugh, oh, in we go. So we don't want to go there. We want to go to the little island. Not that one. Not this one. Oh, that's the one we want. Um, 
come back. Where did it fall? Where'd it go? It's never around when you need it to be. Then you wake up and it's around Timber Hearth, yeah. There it is. Hey friend. Okay. Let me view my ship log really quick. I want to know if there's a log for this island. I don't even know if there is. Knob. Welcome. I am uh, trying to experiment a little bit with this game, and it is um, giving me a run for my money, that's for sure. Woo. This game, I gotta say, it is unlike any game I have ever played. Highly recommend it on that note. The more you watch it, the more it's solidified as your favorite game. I Yeah, I can see that for sure. Especially because everybody's first playthrough of this game is going to be so drastically different. I can't tell if that is like You see that? I can't tell if that's a glitch, if that's a bug, or if that's intentional. Not sure. Yeah, Nob, nah, I really do recommend it. Like, this game gives me the best, um, aha moments that I've ever had in a video game. These look fully encased in ice. I gonna do this I also like I don't want to just throw myself into the ghost matter and then not be able to get out and then just like reset again
Ooh, like that. Like, I feel like I'm about to die. This is not the best spot to be in. Um, the best part of playthroughs of this game is watching people pause and yell, oh, immediately after they've read something. I can completely see that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. Come on. Oh, I might be... I might be, uh... In danger. Oh! Alright, alright, cool. Actually. I'm actually cool with this for a minute. Oh, gonna die. I thought I had just, like, found a place that I could go. That's alright. Maybe try underneath the island. The sense of discovery in this game is something you've never found in any other game. I'm trying to think of other games that I've really, like, wowed me in a similar way. Um, the closest I can think of off the top of my head is maybe Antichamber. Uh, because Antichamber... Whenever you do something unexpected, you're rewarded for that, usually. So thinking outside the box was, you know, key for that game. That came up in the other stream you were in? You've never heard of it? Antichamber? You'd probably really like it. Uh, it's definitely a puzzle game. Like, this game... I, I'd say is more of like exploration, oops, exploration and and some puzzle about like the exploring you do, but the antechamber is like you have a a set goal and that is to solve the puzzle in front of you a little bit. But sometimes that puzzle is how to get from point A to point B, which compared to this, very, very similar. So Similarities and differences. Probably still coming in way too fast. Way too fast. Ugh. If at some point that island will be taken by the counterclockwise whirlpool because this it got taken right away the last the last time I was here um, let's try going under seeing anything last time I looked. Ugh. 
journey is similar to this, but you really like being able to read the lore um, of the solar system. Yeah, you definitely don't really get that in Antichamber, unfortunately. Yeah, whatever. We'll just leave the ship here. Alright, so that was a bug that I saw before. I'm starting to wonder if there is a reason to be doing this. I'm not sure if there is. I feel like there, there just must be. There just must be a reason. Like, I refuse to believe that there isn't. At least getting a little bit better at navigating this. A little bit. Oh, it won't let me up on the branch there. Oh, is that a, um, is that something I can read? Is... Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. I knew that there must be something here. There couldn't be nothing. I refused to believe. need to get that log. I need it. Where is it? Is that it? Is it like right behind there? tempted to wait until I get, yeah, let's wait till we get picked up right here. There it is. All the way over here. Woo! Made it. Alright, down we go. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine if I just died right there? Trip entry, number four, whatever. Crashes, two, boring crashes, zero. Rem remember to see Slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant's Deep. You just got feldsparred. That was stressful. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, uh, uh, can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Oh, thank you. Jetpack. Light campfire. It's nice. So if I wait here, is that what it was saying? If I wait here, I'll um, be able to go to the center. It doesn't say. I'm wondering if this will just like get picked up by one of the other typhoons. What a cool little nook. I'm looking at this one more time. Doesn't really say. Hmm. I'm tempted to wait. Which I don't even know if that feels like the right thing to do, but. I guess we'll give it a couple of minutes. Um, because if anything, we do need these jellyfish to uh, get to the center regardless. Nothing but time. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm not in a rush. Hanging out, seeing the sights. Party. Hey, bud. Come here. Nope. Harvey says, not today. You're gonna pick me up. I know it. He's not wrong. I don't know if this is going to work, now that I'm really thinking about it, because it seems like the islands are in pretty random locations every time I come to this planet. It's possible that, like, this one isn't, but the other ones are. I don't know. Can I roast a marshmallow? Extend the stick. Yes! Oh, I can toss it? No, I don't want to toss it. I don't know about you guys, but I was always someone who, uh, burned their marshmallows. You love burnt marshmallows? They're just so good. Like, I acknowledge that a, a good golden brown marshmallow is, like, better. 
but I'm just impatient. I do like that the sound effect when you burn them is different. Like, it crunches a little bit more, I think. some tornadoes coming at us, but it doesn't seem like they're the right direction. The character goes bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is rude and wrong. we hit something? It looked like we hit the, uh, the, uh, the, that shuttle launcher. I think, I think, well, like, we went up into space and we didn't start coming down yet, so I think that the island bumped into the, um, the shuttle that was up there. <gasps> All right, well. That doesn't feel great. Ooh, oh, I fell. I was busy looking at... Oh, well. Huh. <laughs> I'm glad that they accounted for me. You know, I haven't actually talked to these guys since I started um, doing my my trips. I was wondering if I'd be able to say anything else. What if we go back to the museum, actually? I haven't been there. And now that I know a lot more, or maybe even the observatory... Good luck. All right. Nope, no, I don't want to. I was trying to to hit B to B to get out of there, but I'm not. I'm not doing this, children. Uh, I don't want to go to the zero dra gravity cave. I guess I'll keep going up. Might as well go to the observatory. Children. It's weird not having my space suit. Or my, uh, my launcher. Oh, but some nice music. Oh, right, these are the same, please. Ah, yes, because I kind of- I recognize some of this stuff. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says collab uh, collaborating the device- calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Alrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search.
angler fish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble it appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. I hate it. I hate it. I was just very curious if there was anything else that we would learn by coming back here, but I'm not sure if we will. I suppose not. Oh, this is cute. Little diagrams of the sun exploding. Didn't notice that significance um, the first time I played. Fun little foreshadowing. Yeah. Always fun. All right, I think I think that's everything that I can get from here. You know, what? I might as well just meditate until the next loop, rather than go back and then try to do something because time has been taken. In the island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish, it looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Maybe I should talk to Feldspar again. I guess I hadn't read this text before. Let's do it. Let's go, as much as I hate it, let's go back to Dark Bramble. Why can't I select it? Uh, maybe... Headlights off.
Here we go. I like get so nervous I just stop talking. I'm just the angler fish freaked me out. I was telling someone like um uh someone was asking me about the game and how I like it and um try to explain it a little bit without like giving anything away and I was like I have a fear of angler fish now. So take that how you will. Stress focus mode, yeah, hundred percent. I still can't get over that time that I went, like, in between the, uh, uh, little tentacle things that the, uh, anglerfish have that one time. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. I hate this. I hate how many spots there are. Uh, the anglerfish will get you. This is one planet that never got easier for you. You were able to do most of the Ember Twins eventually, but still hate watching this place. Yeah. I understand why. The fog, the music, the fish, yeah. Having this little harmonica kind of helps because it's just like there. Uh, everything's spacing out. All those fish are all around me now. We're getting there. We're getting there. Probably turn that off. I know which one we're trying to get to. <laughs> there it is. Did it miss? this glitch? I think this bugged. Let's try it again. Yeah, there we go. It just like totally bugged that one time. It just looked really weird. Still freaks me out. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. Oh. 
Well, I can just follow this duplicate signal. Here we go. Hello. I'm back. Shocking, right? Never would have thought I'd come back. And yet, here we are. Bellsfar, I need your guidance. Hello. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in well ever, actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done. All right. Um... I found something. I found a frozen jellyfish near your ship. Hey, thanks for the follow, giant uh, sequina. Let me know if you have a preferred way to pronounce your name, because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> How are you doing today? Also, um, I don't think I said hello to um, uh, Bajar? Bajar? Welcome in. You can tell I've just been like so into the angler fish that I like forget what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm live. There's a chat conversation happening. These, yeah, this game is, is like that for sure. Well, thank you for uh, being understanding and, and humoring me. <laughs> so I've been here before and um, Uh, I feel like I've done all of this. I want him to tell me how he got to the center of Giant's Deep. That's what I want to know. You reached the core of Giant's Deep. How'd you do it? Giant's Deep core, huh? That was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yet yourself, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note. That sure was a big, hollow vine my ship crashed into, yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go- wait, no, but this is the- this is the center of Dark Bramble, not Giant's- or yeah, not Giant's Deep. So is there another vine? Like, there's no vine that goes to the center of Giant's Deep. Tell, yeah, telling me to take a long walk off a short pier. Yeah, what a jerk. I'm, I'm asking him again. Completely unrelated note. I mean, I guess we could go back to the, the frozen fish. The frozen, uh, jellyfish. Hmm. Sir. anything else I've found since I've I found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. So the old thing is still there, huh? Um, that's where I first camp out after the crash. You know, it was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integri integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones. Yeah, yep. Sir, please, just tell me. Just help me out here. I did the work. 
I got all the way here. I came back. Alright, fine. Fine. I'm not bitter at all. Don't crash down. Okay. So. Hey, Lou. Welcome in. Yeah, we're back at Dark Bramble. Um, so what I'm trying to do is get to the center of uh, Giant's Deep, which I know Feldspar has done, but he won't tell us how. Um, my hunch is that there is a frozen jellyfish on... Um, on Giant Steep, and if we, like, get inside it somehow, we can get to the center. However, I don't know how to get into the jellyfish or get it under the current. Get that island under the current. I know how to get under the current, but I don't know how to get the island under the current. Dark Ramble has good sinister music. It sure does. I could try just like swimming into it myself, but I don't think that's going to work. Because whenever I try to throw a scout at it, when they're alive, it just like shoots off of them. Oh, I went too far. Come on. Not for Herthian consumption, correct. Yeah, Feldspar's a jerk. Um, well. I don't know if there's much reason to go back to my ship right now, because I don't want to go out of Giant's Deep. I just kind of want to leave. In general, I guess I can go back to... It's this way. Yeah, it just ends. You also got confused trying to figure this out. You're glad it wasn't just you. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, I don't... There have been, like, maybe... I don't know if there's anything that's really come naturally to me in this game. Like, at best, I've kind of, like, had an idea of what to do, tried it a couple times, it didn't work, then I tried it again later, and it did work. I think that's, like, the best, <laughs> the closest I've come. All right, let's just... Let's meditate to the next loop. Let's just... Let's just do it. We'll go back to uh, Giant's Deep. Also, I realize that you guys could probably hear me cracking my knuckles now when you couldn't on my, uh, uh, headset. I'll try not to do that. <laughs> I think this microphone picks up a lot more than my last one did. Especially if I, like, am holding my hands in front of me, which is, like, right in front of the mic, as opposed to my headset. Lots of getting used to. It 
it's also interesting trying to like decide if it's worth trying to get to the center of the planet because like it doesn't tell me I need to here like the ocean depths it just They're telling me it's possible to get there, but it's not like there's more to explore here. I guess there could just be another branch off that's like the planet's core once you get there. That's probably what it is. ever want uh, a yes or no answer on something that's worth doing uh, or if I'm on the right track to something chats here for me thank you I appreciate that I'm probably gonna like look at this one more time and then move on to something else um, and then like maybe I'll come back to this at some point or Thanks. This is exactly what I was looking for. Can I just land my ship in the vines and save myself from having to climb all over the place? Because I would like that. Oh no. Oh shit. Well. I guess I should have looked down before I got out, but, eh, you know. This planet. <laughs> this planet, man. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't want to do it like this. Ah! I have regrets. I have regrets about my approach here. Maybe I just can walk across it. Can just, that's fine. Everything's fine. Including my feelings. They're fine. the edge. My ship is impossible to get to now. What have I done? Yeah, that's fine. I kind of fucked myself there. I, I had no chance. So... Mm -hmm. I might just have to stew on this one for a little bit. The only other thing that I can think to try is to go back to the core again and find a way to just, like, either kill a jellyfish or get under a jellyfish. Let's check our logs and see what else is going on.
Every time I've come here, everything's destroyed. And I can't see any of these modules. The Hanging City I've been to a few times. Old Settlement. So there's something here I've missed. Okay. And the old settlement is in... Is this in the, uh... I think this is on the Twins. In the Sunless City. So much about the quantum moon that I don't know yet. Maybe I'll go back to the probe cannon one last time, um, at least for now. Because I know that I'm missing stuff there. Oh, whoops, I didn't I didn't hold it for long enough. I wasn't in orbit yet. Alright. <laughs> We're good. I think I'm gonna do probably one or two more loops and then end here for tonight. I guess it hasn't been that long. I'll see how I'm feeling. I, um, I'm just starting to get a little hungry. was a weird landing. It's hard to tell if I did land. Alright. these just so they'll show up control module just that I've been there I mean even though I've read them all here again this music. I've definitely read this before, which is why I'm not- I'm just skimming it. I'm not reading it aloud.
This is the same one that I found in a different location, because it also has this, uh, that thing on the floor, the other projection stone. Let's just put that one on the floor. That's weird. I don't know what that means yet. Fuck. Nice precise location. So what here had I not seen before? Getting the eyes location. Cassava tells me uh, he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, I, uh, and I am right to think that, consequently, we will be ignoring that setting. Giving the orbital probe cannon Ooh. all the power. Oh, that's the, that's the wrong. I can post it with nearly 100% certainty. All uh, our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power. It can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. I think I realized this the last time I was here. Maybe this is what I missed. All right, let's start at the top this time. The OST is so good. It really is. It really is fantastic. Uh, orbital probe cannon, damage report, severe structural stress detected, assembling damage to modules. Control module, intact, no structural damage. Launch module, viewpoint, window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module, missing. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Warning. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Nope. Come back. Come back. Is that on the twin? Yeah, that's the, uh, one of the twin planets. 
Six minutes, 35 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected, selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Down, please. There's more I can read because of like the discs that are like hidden under there. Like like those rings. Oops. That's all right. Well, we've learned why the probe was getting launched during this particular... That one's blocked. This is the last one, which also is... gone. Hey, quantum moon. Let's go back to the ship. Oh, that's so disorienting, the way that this moves around. probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe the nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe cool create uh, control module the control module recently re uh, request received a request from the ash twin project to launch the probe the cannon was aligned with a randomly se selected probe directory tra trajectory oh my god the probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. The launch module's viewpoint window is fractured, exposing it to vacuum of space, and the probe's tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. A NOMI computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. Hmm. Interesting. This stuff we haven't read. A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has a uh, already taken root. Uh, Tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. I launched my little scout into the seed, so now the seed is much bigger on the inside. Lunar Lookout. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Exter uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on other travelers. Exter's camp. Exter is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. So there's not that much left that, like, says there's more to explore in that area. Let's go back. I think I'm going to do one more run. And I think I'm going to go back to the Sunless City. And we'll go to the old settlement. No, that's, that's on Brittle Hollow. Should we go to Brittle Hollow or the Sunless City? I think I'm more eager to go to the Hanging City and the Old Settlement. So let's let's do that. Uh, 
But let's get a let's get a new loop first. I love the new loop. That is such a game changing thing. <laughs> I wish I'd found it sooner. But alas. It was definitely just dialogue that I skipped over, and that's something I'm trying to be a little better about. Oh, my nose is running. Okay. Yeah, super convenient. Uh, you were way did I end up doing the cyclone thing at Giant Steep with the info I got from the observatory? So, where I got with the observ- I- I'm not sure. <laughs> so, what did- what did we learn? Every- I've- I've- what I've done since you left is I've gone to Giant Steep and I have tried to use the jellyfish on Giant Steep to get to the core of the planet. So I got under, yeah, so I got under the current, right? But I couldn't get into the core. So what I've, what I was doing for a while was I, um, found the little island with the frozen jellyfish and I was trying to figure out, like, how to get in, into the ice or, like, at that little campsite there uh, didn't really get anywhere with that. Um, so I think that's one I'm going to revisit the next time I play, and I'm just going to kind of think on it for a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do now is go back to, you don't think you've seen the frozen jelly? Yeah, there's like a little island with some frozen jellyfish on it. Um, yeah, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the Hanging City because there's more stuff to explore there. Um, that's my current plan. But yeah, I got the idea of the dead jellyfish because we went back to Dark Bramble and talked to Felsbar because he's been to the core of Giant's Deep and he told us very uh, abruptly to, uh, to just uh, fuck right off. He was like, you'll figure it out. I was like, uh huh. It's like, I think it'll be cheating if I tell you how. I'm like, sir. I thought that this was the clue. I'm just trying to find the, uh,. The tower, there it is. You're originally uh, scared of Brittle Hollow, but now it might be your favorite. Ooh, whoops. I'm sorry, ship. Ha, the landing mode helped. Um, yeah, it's a really cool planet. I don't know if it's my favorite. I think the, the twins are my favorite. I think that one's fun. Seems like uh, getting through Dark Bramble would have been enough work for Felspar, but nah. Guess not. Yeah. All right. Back to the hanging city. Oh, that always freaks me out when it's so loud like that.
these, like, portal things. I would not enjoy this method of travel in real life. It would be too scary. Do you have any new information while I'm here? I'm in a hurry. I learned something. These are all the same. No, 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 no. Never mind. See you later. Okay. Okay. Don't want to go there. I definitely... Oh, here it was. I was like, I definitely got somewhere else on this platform before. Couldn't work out offhand where it was. Gotta look up. I feel like game designers spend a lot of energy trying to get players to just look up. Have I been up here? I know that that was the Hanging City and that's where I want to go, but I don't know if I've been up here. I don't know, I just remember like listening to an interview of some game dev and they were talking about how the, the most difficult thing that they could do in their game was get players to look upward. But I don't really remember like what the context of that was, like why that was important in that conversation. But it was like years ago. Where are we? Have I been here before? Also, at first I thought that the ghost matter was just like an enormous pain in the ass. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there so I remember how to get out of here. Um, but now that I've, I've kind of picked up that it doesn't really matter, like it's just like an obstacle that you have to walk around, I kind of like that. Light a campfire. Anything to read? Any notes? I feel like there's gotta be something around here. Oh, well, maybe not. what these are. I'm curious, though. Yeah, it's just a barrier that kills you. Yeah, like, because for a while I was really convinced that um, eventually I would find, like, a suit or, or some item that I would pick up. Oh, I, oh, it was one of these things. They are broken, these things that were on the wall there. Also, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Mint Panda. Thank you. I appreciate it. How's it going? It's going well. Um, I'm at a point in this game where I'm definitely a little bit puzzled, but um, I don't know. It's kind of nice to just kind of wander around and like try to try to figure things out a little bit 
stringing the clues together that I have now because I, I have a lot of individual pieces of information and connecting those dots is so rewarding. So it's kind of like, I'm just waiting to get those dots to, to point together. So we're getting there one step at a time. Um, I'm definitely figuring some stuff out. A um, few places I've been. I assume you've played this game before. When I get back to the ship, I'll, I'll open up my map. The place I'm in right now looks really cool. Yeah, the Hanging City is awesome. You've only played the Alpha. Oh, interesting. Cool. This is my first time ever playing the game. Um, so I have no idea how it compares to the Alpha, but... Also, a lot of this stuff I've read before, so I'm gonna read some of it, but not all of it. Like, I've definitely done these. Um, yeah, these I'm just gonna scan over. It looks a lot prettier. Nice. Yeah, whenever I find new information that I know is new, I read it aloud. But I've definitely read about the vessel before. Yeah, we know we're trying to find the eye. It could be, but I'm pretty sure I've just read that before. You've listened to this track so many times, you love it. In the alpha, there wasn't nearly as much stuff to read, so you're excited to see where this goes. Gotcha. I feel strange trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him is short, I will miss my old mentor deeply. To him, the chance to try to find... Uh, to, to have the chance to try is thrilling. But I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what, uh, but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? Uh, I was born in this star system and never saw Anona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? <laughs> Still, all I can give is my best, and Anona would say, uh, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have clary and root in the forge, and I'm and I have my clan. I'm not alone. Yeah, so I definitely read that before because it didn't update my log. But that's okay. It's up here. The slang is hilarious. I love how much care and personality was put into these know my logs. I agree. Yeah, like it's it's clear that everything was well well thought of. Um yeah, I, I like the slang a lot. I'm fairly certain I've been up there. A lot of love went into this game, and you can tell, absolutely. Has this studio made any other games? I... I don't know. I usually try to read up on that kind of stuff, but I haven't heard anything. Oh. Huh. It's convenient.
So what I can do here is I can... Uh, as Cryer returned to Dark Bramble, Plume, my father said that many good nomai perished there. My mentor, Collis, and his older mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Um, using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil we used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. Uh, what Mel uh, Mallory and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade that anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, I recall those present when the vessel crashed said it was sustained lethal, inju lethal injuries. Whew. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still try to repair it. My grandfather told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Yep. Oh. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Okay. Let's check one of the other levels. I really just want to find what I'm missing here. School district. High Shrine district. Black Hole Forge district. So we are in the Melwater district. Let's go down to the school district. Random fact about the developer that you recently learned. Uh, it started as an offshoot of a movie studio that's done some really good stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love those random, like, little fun facts about the developers. Like, because this came out in 2019. Which I guess was two years ago. Jesus. Um... And I am t really excited for whatever this studio is going to do next. Like, anything they do, I'm going to be excited about. Okay. So this was the path to avoid that. Oops. There's a really good documentary about this game that you'd recommend finding on YouTube once I finished, otherwise it's very spoilery. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would love to watch that once I'm done with the game. Um, yeah, for sure. Any documentary about this game that wasn't... That didn't have major spoilers, I can't imagine, would be, like, worth watching. Pretty sure I've read this, too. Explanation of festivals, yeah. I remember the festivals. Right. And I've, if I've read the festivals, I've definitely read whatever the scroll is. So I think I should go back to the entrance over here. Maybe I should try to go upwards. Because I feel like that is what I am missing <laughs> up at the top there. I need to be cautious and not just like... Accidentally go into the, uh... Ghost matter, or the black hole, for that matter. I don't want to fall because of being careless. What am I stuck on? There we go. I got, like, stuck on the environment. Oh! What? Oh, bullshit! What the fuck? That's not fair! I hate this. That's not- that's not fair! I got hit with a rock! 
<laughs> Sucks. <laughs> no. The hell. Let's go back to this. Go back here. I'm so, uh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Aw, oh, game, why would you do me like this? Rude. I was, like, just talking about being cautious and careful. And then that. Wasn't it like this that takes me back? Maybe. Is this gonna send me to the interloper? Nah. That would've been cool, though. Uh... Okay. a turn. Alright, well, I'm back. I made it. I don't know if I'll be able to get back to where I was, but... Wasn't there a way to get back? Maybe it wasn't here. Black hole in one. Yeah, it got me. I'm still salty. I'm gonna be salty about that for a couple of minutes. Alright, hanging city, blow me. Let's go find some hole in the environment and then we'll fall into the planet center. I should have put a probe at that little gap that I found. Because that would have been cool. It was like in a snowy area. It might not even still be here anymore. Oh, there's a snowy spot. Ugh. I need to stop being careless, but also at this point it's like, does it matter? Can I even get back there with enough time to spare to actually look around? This isn't the right snowy area. I may have just like missed it and not seen it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh. Make up your mind. Everything's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I need my ship back. I'm gonna give one more go at the uh, hanging city because I didn't quite get to get to go where I wanted to. So I'll give it one more try and I'm gonna make some dinner.
Take me. Elevator. What? Come on. <laughs> the, uh... The, uh, the, um... Autopilot doesn't always do me good. I should probably stop relying on it as much as I do, but... Okay. I just gotta find that little platform. I think. Oh, almost got hit by a meteor. I think that landing in the same spot every time is the best way to do it. This spot specifically. Um. suit yeah okay hit with another rock. I'm gonna have some choice words. So it wasn't the crossroads that we went to. Maybe it was. Maybe we did go this way first. Machi is raiding with a party of five. Hello! Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, let me give you a quick shout out. One moment. Uh, Hachimachi, how was your stream? What were you playing? Control. You know, I was actually just looking at that earlier. Um, how is it? Do you like it? So, hey, Raiders. Hey, Loon. Hey, Trace. You like it? It's very unique storytelling. I love a game with a good story. It's fascinating. I'll definitely need to check it out. My, um, sometimes I'll rent games from my local library. Uh, I just learned recently that they have games, and one of them that they had was Control, so that would be like a great way for me to test it out um, without committing to buying it, I guess. Although last time I checked, it wasn't even that expensive, so I should probably just like buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was um, a friend who let me know that like the library has a bunch of games. Have you seen this game before? So we came from the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We want to go up so that I can um, get back to the Hanging City. You played this game last month. That's awesome. 
this game, I'm really impressed with this game. Like, I'm still kind of, like, figuring it out and trying to, trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, but I love all the exploration. It's very cool. I'm very impressed with it. Um, it's gonna seem like an exaggeration, but probably one of your top three games of all time. Outer Wilds is the best video game that exists, you think? I I can see why everyone is saying that. I have talked to a lot of people that have played this game, especially since I've started playing it, and I don't think that there are any other games that are doing what this game does as successfully as this does, if at all. Um, we were saying earlier that there are a couple of games, I think, that have a similar kind of thought process behind how to explore and solve puzzles, and the best one that I can think of is Antichamber. Um, there may be others, but I do not know them. Other games. You loved Antichamber. Yeah, I thought Antichamber was really good. Um, I think I would be too intimidated to try to stream a game like that, but I definitely want to play it some more. So this is, I think, the area, at, the area in the Hanging City that I haven't been to yet, I'm pretty sure is this top level, and I'm not sure if I just need to wait until this area gets, like, sucked up into space before I can get there. Not sure. Um, you would definitely think too often you're very dumb. I'm sure, I'm sure you're not. Antichamber is just like, uh, designed to do that. I've definitely felt that way when playing this game though. I'm like, uh, but what, wait, what? I don't understand. So sad seeing all the little skeletons around. Uh, thank you so much for the follow! Alright. Have I read this before? That is the question. Be welcome. Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a place to reflect on what uh, brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. Yeah, we've read all this. This is where we started to learn about the eye of the universe and now we're trying to get the get the eye. Um, yeah, what is the eye of the universe? Signal that brought us here. The eye is a more advanced being. The eye is older than this universe. So imagine how much it could teach us. Sometimes I like to read through these again just to get a refresher on stuff I've learned that may have been a long time ago and I didn't have context that I have now. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. This, uh, the signal is a call. We were, in were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal we're able to determine the eye's approximate age or perhaps its lack of age. Okay, all right. This area is so nerve-wracking, because, like, now that I'm here, I don't really know where to go, like, or how to get back without falling. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I, like, just- I'm just so afraid of falling into the center again. Falling into the dark- uh, black hole. the wrong button. Could have ended in disaster, but didn't. I no, I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. 
The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect, uh, I, sus I suspect, um, imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species, or it might not have been calling out at all. And that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye might not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Genuine risk. Um, Hatachi did it more than once. Oh yeah, a zillion times. Hotch. Let me know if I'm saying that correctly. Hotch. Hotchchi? Hotchchi? I always get worried about saying names incorrectly. <laughs> Man, that's like sixth location. I think that's what that symbol is. Still haven't gotten there. I've gotten to the quantum moon um, and tried to navigate around without all that much luck. Ooh, all right. Loon, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. How do I get to you? Hmm. I don't want to wait for the hanging city to just like go up into space because I worry that it'll be take a long time and then not work out the way that I want it to. It just makes me nervous. up that way. Pretty sure we can't go up this way. Yeah, because it's not powered. Oh, one second. Oh, my nose is running. It's been cold here today. So do you usually do um, uh, um, variety streaming? You're a bunch of different kinds of games, or like kind of tend to stick to indie games. I usually stick to indie games personally, but kind of like whatever floats my boat. I did a, a baking stream the other day, and that was really fun and different. Let's go back down. I, I went over this way, right? Yeah, this is the area we were just in. All right, so let's go down. I always do this. I always do this. Uh. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want to read it. School district. Meltwater district. Ice shrine district. Black hole forge district. How do I get to you? Let's go, yeah, this goes to the black. We'll check this out while we're here. Will this bring it down? Because that'd be sweet. Oh. Is there anything that 
I can do with that. I see something on the end there. I'm curious. Very curious. Let's go back up. Now that we've moved that, let's try going back up. That might be a platform that we can, like, land on. can't tell if those like platforms below are like activated or not doesn't quite get me like as close as I was hoping it would. Or maybe there's just that thing in the way. I didn't fall all the way back down. <laughs> I can get high enough to like really try to get there. I guess I'll just wait. I'll just wait for this part to go s get sucked up into space and hope I don't. 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. I think there was oxygen in here. Yeah, there's some trees. My guy's breathing so fast. Relax. Relax. You're gonna be fine. There you go. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Because there's just the one thing I really don't want to do is be hasty or impatient. And when I could have just waited for this all to go up into space, Instead, I, like, uh, I, I don't fall into the black hole and then get separated and then have to, like, start over and retrace my steps, so we'll wait a little bit. I'm very excited to start Subnautica in a couple of weeks. I don't know if anyone's played the um, early access version of Below Zero. I have not. I have very specifically ignored it in every way possible. Man, I know that's a, a teleporting platform too. So like, how? How do I teleport to it? Ah! Ah! Is 
It's like teleporting platforms and all kinds of junk. But yeah, Subnautica Below Zero. I haven't... I'm going to be playing it completely blind. I really tried very hard to avoid any spoilers or watch any playthroughs of the early access version. So... I'm very excited to play that soon. Come on, take me! Take me away. Take this platform away. I'm tempted to like go get the ship and come back, but I should definitely do that. Yeah, this doesn't look activated, but there's stuff to read up there. There goes my ship! Goodbye, ship! <laughs> Can't be much longer now, then, if that got sucked up into space. Check on the state of the rest of the planet. Guess I'll get some more oxygen. Man, I hate waiting. <laughs> I am an impatient person. Especially when I'm streaming. I'm like, gotta keep things moving. Gotta keep things interesting. I guess that's just my job. Not used to. I gotta save my fuel, too. So that when I go up into space, uh, we can get back out. Give it a couple more minutes. I'm not in a rush. And that seems to be like a really important key part of this game too, is that sometimes you just have to wait and try things, um, which is hard to get used to. It is, it is a, uh, it's a whole thing. Any minute now. Oh, there's like no planet left. I wonder if it's gonna fall with these platforms or not. It's funny, I got to the top of the tower um, by accident by doing pretty much exactly this. I um, was just waiting, or like I was trying to figure out how to get into the tower and then it went up into space. Oh, now it's just gonna loop and this isn't gonna go anywhere? What? All right, well, in that case, huh. I don't... Hmm, hmm. How do I get up here? Alright. My hypothesis was incorrect. Alright, I can't jump on that either. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Well, now I know which parts of the planet don't, uh... Don't, uh... Fall. <laughs> Specifically, the Hanging City does not... <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. I don't even know why I'm trying to get back to my ship. But. So, we're definitely not going to make it there. But we can watch the uh, sun explode.
death it comes for us. <laughs> Alright. Well, we learned some things. I had some, some, uh, some thoughts, some hypotheses. They were proven incorrect. So... Now I... Now I can build off that, I suppose? And we're back. I think this is a good place to call it for today. Um, I'm probably going to play some more tomorrow because I am really into this game and I want to make some more progress in it. But we did recap. So what did we do in this um, playthrough? We did get below the current in Giant's Deep. Um, we went back to Dark Bramble. Uh, we, we got into the observatory uh, and learned a lot there um, about the current. So that kind of strung together a couple of things. So we're, we're chipping away. We're making some progress. Uh, thank you, Orc. Good night to you as well. I'm sure I'll catch you in another stream. And let's see who we can raid. Let me check who's online. I always have to pull it up on my phone. And uh, before, before I raid, um, thank you so much for the raid earlier. Hachimachi, I really appreciate it. Um, Orc Lou, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, Giant Sequina, thank you. Acro, Loof. Um, yeah, that's okay. No, I don't, I don't expect everybody to always be active in chat. If you're lurking, I appreciate you. If you were here and you took time out of your day to come hang out with me, I appreciate you. Um, so have a great rest of your night, everyone. Thank you for those new follows. I hope to see you at the next one. All right, let's see who's online and then we can do a raid. You know what? Friendly Pyro is currently streaming and it is their birthday. They are doing some art and um, they're a friend of mine from from uh IRL real life friend Dr. Sweet Brown is doing Jackbox multiplayer for his Twitch anniversary. I'll have to go give him a follow. I don't think I follow them. But let's raid Pyro for today. Definitely Stop in, say hi, wish them a happy birthday, and I'll see you guys over there. <laughs>